Oh yeah, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Hi. Good evening. Hold on, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait. Hello, Brownsburg High School, and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, November 30th. I'm Nick Farina. And I'm Bree Ellis, and here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the BHS Quiz Bowl teams who defeated Center Grove last night. Both the JV and Varsity are now 3-1 on the season. The Varsity was trailing going into the final round, but correctly answered six Stump the Experts questions to seal the win. Congrats to Austin Stout, Julia Frame, Justin Kay, Michael Walters, and Michael Dill. The JV won handily by 30 points. Congrats to Jack Dorman, Martin Wilson, Farron Risch, and Ella Kamblia. BHS will host the Dogfight Tournament this Saturday. Good luck. Starting next Monday, Bulldogs for Life will be holding a baby item drive. Please donate anything a baby needs from diapers to baby bottles. All donations will go to the Gabriel Project. The Gabriel Project helps women in crisis pregnancies. Donations can be brought to your team office through Friday, December 7th. The BHS National Honor Society Food Drive has been extended to Tuesday, December 4th. Students can bring items such as spices, crackers, box stuffing, canned green beans, and canned fruit to the first period class. The two classes with the most donations will receive coupons for free cookies from DECA. All the items will be donated to the BCSC Food Pantry. Seniors, if you're interested in pursuing a career in teaching, you are recommended to look into the Next Generation Teacher Scholarship. The scholarship is renewable for up to $7,500 each year for four academic years. The deadline to apply is today. For eligibility requirements and how to apply, please visit the website on the screen or see Mrs. Martin. Now here's Bailey diving in with the swim team. The swimming and diving team began their season recently. We took a lap with some of the team members and coaches. We asked them what some of their goals were. My personal goals are just to make it to sectionals and do good at conference and do good at, in our meets and uh, compete really well. For this season are just to be like a good leader for my team and just like try and carry us all the way to state because we got a lot of talent on this team and we're, we're looking to be really fast this year. Well, we uh, need to get a little tougher. We, uh, we've lost a couple of close meets so far. We lost to Westfield boys by one. We lost to Zionsville girls by two. Uh, and so we've got to get a little, little bit better at finishing our races. Uh, well, I think this year we just need to continue to work on getting stronger as we move throughout the season. Uh, I think we have some just weaknesses in some, uh, some certain areas. The team has done really well in the recent past. We asked them how much confidence they have in the team. I have a lot of confidence in these boys because, I mean, we're – we're training really hard. We're stepping up to some of the best teams in our conference, and our conference is the hardest in the state. And it's just we're swimming really fast against them. We're close. I mean, we lost against Westfield and Zionsville. Both were very close meets, though. And, I mean, we're just out here swimming fast. I'm pretty optimistic for how we're looking at doing this year. I'm expecting to take a couple people to state again this year uh, like previous years. Um, saw a lot of improvements working in the off season, and we've had a decently strong start this year. Yeah, the team looks really strong this year. We're pretty deep. It's the biggest team I think Brownsburg's ever had, so we're looking good. Can't wait to see how this season unfolds. Good luck to the team. That's all for us. Back over to you guys. Good luck to the swim team this season. Now it's time for sports. Hey Libby, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, the wrestling team was in action this week when they traveled to Westfield on Wednesday. The dogs defeated the Shamrocks 54-12. Standouts for the night were Greg Glover, who defeated the number 15 ranked wrestler in the state. Evan Lawhead, Drake Campbell, Griffin Eisen, Jacob Kirkley, Lawson Aiken, and Dorian Keith, who all recorded falls on the night. Next Thursday, your third-ranked Bulldog wrestlers take on rival and fifth-ranked Avon in our main gym. JV action starts at 6.30 and Brassy should begin around 7. Let's pack the house in a whiteout. There will be spotlights, a DJ, fog machine, and a tunnel. They need your help to bring the big home match advantage. You can also order a shirt for the match. Orders are due by noon on Monday. To Coach Schneider and Coach Thompson, cost is $7. The JV freshman basketball teams were in action last night when they traveled to Franklin Central. For the girls, the JV won 59-15 and were led by Cam Relief with 28 points, including five three-pointers in the first quarter. Ramiah Milton added 10. Nice job. The freshman girls also had a decisive victory, 49-3, and they are now 6-0 on the season. Megan Kennedy led the dogs with 12 points, followed by Ashley Cobb with 10 points and 10 rebounds. 
The JV boys team got on their second straight victory, defeating the Flashes 58-49. Quentin Bragg led all scores with 19 points. J.J. Loudon added 13 and Tyree Lackey added 12. It was a great team effort by the Dogs. And the boys' freshman team got on their first win of the season, 53-42. The Dogs jumped out on an early lead and maintained it throughout the game. Ian Alexander led the team with 16 points, followed by Derek Fudge with 10 and Nick Ponte with 9. Nice job, guys. Don't forget that tonight the varsity girls and boys basketball teams will host Franklin Central starting at 6 in the varsity field house. And girls volleyball will have a call-out meeting tonight at 5 p.m. with our new coach, Katie Maples, in the Senior Academy. That's it for Source today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Libby. Now let's check in with Ellie for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hey guys, we should see some decent temperatures this weekend, but lots of clouds as well. Today the high will be around 45 degrees with a low of 39 and cloudy. Some rain will move in overnight too. Saturday will be rainy throughout the day with a high of 59 and the rain could turn into thunderstorms in the evening. Sunday should be pretty nice, mostly sunny all day long with a high of 52 and a low of 36. Have a great start to December. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Ellie. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday.